I'm a magpie. And this Monday, I would like to show you. <laughs> I'm here with the Magpie Pedals Crazinator. Link to magpiepedals.com is in the description. The Crazinator being a very special project of mine, and I wanted to do this video essentially before they run out because the crazinator is once again one of those effects that I don't necessarily intend to make any more of at all. But what sets the crazinator apart is quite a lot of things. But first and foremost, it's what it's maybe the first thing that I ever invented as Simon the Magpie, actually. So that many, many years ago, I took one of these toys. That's why it's in my hand. And I turned it into this and I called it the Crazinator. So ever since I started up like Magpie Pedals, I wanted to release it again to just have a more solid design for the Crazinator to check that off my bucket list. But it sort of led me down a rabbit hole of thinking that this type of thing, like turning a toy like this into a guitar pedal or effects pedal is something that I want to do a heck of a lot more with all kinds of things. So I am doing that. And what I intend to do for every single one of those projects is to provide a PCB for you to download over at magpiestuff.com. That com, dot com. So there's gonna be a link to that over at magpiepedals.com on the Crazinator page. But as of right now, you can get all of the Crazinators I have built, but it's kind of a hassle to make these types of things because I literally have to buy these and pick them apart. And then what I've done is I have designed a PCB that you can see underneath this PCB, which is a PCB from not that one, obviously, but from where my PCB that I have designed, I designed it to sort of get the most out of that specific toy in this case. And in other cases, it's gonna be completely different PCBs where I have done a lot of stuff in completely different ways to get as much as possible out of those things. All of this said, however, let's start making some sounds because yeah, if you know these types of voice changer toys, they always have a bunch of switches and these switches do different sort of pitch effects to your voice. And also there's usually like a robot -y type effect as well, but per usual, there are five switches. Because I always go for the toy that looks like this. Megaphone. Ish. But yeah, they usually have five switches, but one of the switches is always just a boosted original voice. So I don't use that because I wanted to have four switches and I'm going with these really big switches. But what I have done is I'm boosting the signal both before and after that PCB so that we can get this really cool sort of dirty sound. And yeah, the controls are of course really straightforward. We just have a volume for, for dry and a volume for wet. So you have that sort of boosted signal already on the wet when you don't turn on any of the switches. But if you do, and I don't know which one to start with, you can start with this one. You get that pitch effect. And if you then turn the volume down, it's gonna sound like that. But as you can hear, it's got all kinds of string intervals. That are kind of unconventional in a sense. It's not your octave, blah, 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 very straightforward. It's just based on, yeah, whatever they did. I don't know what they did. But you can, of course, combine some of the switches as well. Ooh. But it's kind of hard to tell uh, which ones. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also something that is very different from sort of voice changer toy to voice changer toy. So that's kind of interesting. It always feels like you have to go like, oh, on off, on off, on off. Oh, that one just turned off the effect now completely. What is going on on off, on off, on off on the small uh, switches? So 
part of the charm, I guess, because it is very, 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 very charming, in my opinion, with these huge switches for something as silly as what it is. Two other fun facts. We have the triple bypass in this design, so you can do tap tempo on off if you feel like it, and you can also do the momentary on off if you feel like it, where now it's just momentarily. That is not a part of the PCB that I'm providing over at magpiestuff.com. That's proprietary. It also makes the whole thing a lot harder to put together as sort of a DIY project. Second thing, I designed this PCB as well as the faceplate and that one has a secret um, effect on the other side of it. So if you decide to pick one of these up, you can take this PCB off and you have another project that you can put together yourself if you feel like it. But it's very secret, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is at all. It's sort of an Easter egg. And I mean, other than this, I don't think there's any more to tell you. So let's just make more sounds with it. I don't know. I don't know where to put it in a pedal chain or anything like that. It's way too experimental. So, at your pleasure, at your leisure, you figure it out if you feel like figuring it out. Thank you very much. If you feel like figuring it out, uh, it's an honor to be able to <laughs> make silly things that at least some of you, hopefully, appreciate. So, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. It didn't 
do uh, doesn't do a great job at anything because it's just the crazinator <laughs> it's just crazy <laughs> but uh mm. this was sounds 